really just step one in long journey. We don't have all the details. It's going to take a while for us to get all the details between now and early next year when they finally uh, uh, address uh, some of the, the, the unanswered questions yet. That said, we re we, as you said, uh, we do see it as an incremental positive for uh, the stock. We see it as an incremental positive for shareholder value, really as an option for what Facebook could become over time. Messenger and WhatsApp have been two uh, divisions that have done extremely well on user engagement, uh, uh, user acquisition. They both have over a billion users. But from a PL standpoint, particularly WhatsApp, for a company that was acquired for $19 billion, it still is not generating any money or hardly any money. So this is uh, uh, one way, which I think is a very smart way, of positioning Facebook literally at the epicenter of this whole blockchain mm -hmm. uh, uh, revolution, which I think over time should start. See, uh, helping it manage or generate money from things like uh, uh, remittances. Uh, just as an example, this is a six to seven hundred billion dollar market where India is already doing something like sixty or seventy billion. Those are done the traditional way. And what's really interesting is if you look at WhatsApp's market share of India's smartphone, it's roughly fifty six percent. So, granted, it's being used for communication for sure. some P to P. Uh, transactions right. or money transfer, but over time we do see India as a great example mm -hmm. and remittances as an example of where this application could eventually go. BK, isn't this what Bitcoin was supposed to be? I mean, uh, David, David Marcus, the head of Calibra, Facebook's initiative, uh, w was talking on Squawk Box today and, and emphasized the peer to peer aspect, the, the ability to, to send money effortlessly, frictionlessly mm -hmm. across borders. Um, in, in developing countries, and, you know, that's, that's I thought, was the promise of crypto. Yeah, and, and, and the goals for crypto, the goals for Bitcoin, let's just use Bitcoin as kind of a broad cryptocurrency um, uh, proxy, the goals for Bitcoin and the goals of what Libra are doing are very similar. They're very similar. The approaches that they've taken are completely different, and that's the distinction between these two. I think it's very good for crypto in general because we're going to get a lot of awareness about it. You're, you're going to be able to use it. People are going to be able to move things around, see what it's like. But it's very different than the value proposition that Bitcoin has versus what Libra has. So let me ask you, Yusuf. I, I'm a little confused on how this would work because it's just above my my level of comprehension. Is it a breath mint or a candy mint? Is it a payment system? or is it a currency, or is it both? Well, I mean, the way they're positioning it, it's based on a basket on, of currencies, which allows it to stay relatively uh, uh, not, not only secure, but also uh, uh, the variability in it is not going to be great. So people will be able to use it as a payment method. People should use it, be able to use it potentially as a store of value. So, you know, I don't know how the regulators are going to look at it. That's still frankly, something that they needs to be hammered out, not just in the U.S., but around the world. I'd say over the next 6 to 12 months, the, regulator, the regulatory environment, how they define it, is probably one of the most important ones BK, to overcome. BK, you seem to make clear that, that you believe that this wouldn't necessarily displace or compete with existing coins like a Bitcoin. But, but mm -hmm. what does this blow out of the water? I mean, honestly, you know, X Ripple and MoneyGram announced uh, an agreement. It seems that seems sort of quaint compared to what's going on here. Yeah, I mean, I, I think certainly if you're Ripple and your MoneyGram or your Western Union, you have to sit up and take notice of what's going on uh, with Libra today and what Facebook has done. They've created a, it's, it's an iteration, you know, Tyler just asked, what is it? Is it PayPal? It's an iteration on PayPal and Venmo, and you're going to be able to have programmable money, things we haven't been able to do before. So, yeah, if I was Western Union, MoneyGram, or anybody else like that, I would be very concerned today.